Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Leah here. Thanks for joining me. I'm just here to show you the projects I created for the fall paper pad collaboration with Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. So I am creating with the Hearth and Harvest paper pad from Craftsmart. This is a new release at Michael's this year. Beth is creating with the Happy Fall from Craftsmith. So I wanted to show you what I created. Um, I've used up a lot of this pad already. The full sheets, there are 11 full sheets left. And I will be coming up with something to use these especially. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I may cut them apart and uh, use them that way. But there are 11 sheets left to create with, full sheets. I have a lot of scraps and I will be creating um, cards and smaller projects with those scraps, but I usually like to get the big pieces out of the way. That way I know I have enough to um, create the bigger projects with. So first things first, three um, of actually, all four of these projects were created using tutorials on YouTube and I will link all of those YouTube videos down below. So this first one is a journal pad gift from um, May May Made It on YouTube. And I've created four of these and I thought these are a perfect gift. And they have a solid back. They have a pencil holder and I've included a pencil with each one. So you open them up. They have a pocket and each one has a bookmark and a tag. And then you open this and there's your journal pad. So I've created four of these. With pocket, tag, and a bookmark. This one actually has two bookmarks, but and that one. And there we go. So, four of those turned out super cool. Very easy to make, too. And then also from May May Made It. Um, she had these brag books and I'm going to call them gratitude journals because of the paper, um, but super easy to make. They take six by six paper. And what I did, because I didn't want to use all of my papers, I didn't want to cut them all up into six by six. I busted out a six by six lawn fawn plaid fall paper pad to coordinate. So I thought the colors were fairly close and so I use those as well so and then I cut up a few sheets and yes I goofed on this one I put one sheet inside upside down my bad so here we go we have five pages in total at the end of each page is a photo mat you can journal on the back and you can put anything in these I thought pictures mementos and they all have a magnetic closure. So I created four of these. With the plaids and the pattern paper. Now also in this pad of paper was one, two whole sheets that had these, all of these circles. And some of them have a sentiment, some of them have a picture. So I cut them all out with a two inch circle punch and I'm using those throughout my projects. So I love this color. I think this is such a pretty color. So yeah, here's another one. The feather paper I think is my absolute favorite in this pad. So four gratitude journals, also a really nice gift. And all with magnetic closures. So, moving on. <clears throat> From there, I wanted to create a mini album. So, I created this mini album. Now, this is not my own page of design. I have several page of designs that are my own. This is not. I wanted to follow somebody else's for this one. So, I followed a tutorial from um, my sister Scrapper on YouTube. And this is her page design. So, this one is 
what have we got? Six and a quarter by four and seven eighths, and it has a two and a half inch spine. So I used the banner paper, or the uh, border paper, I should say, and some scraps to decorate. I also fussy cut um, some of the flowers from one of the papers, and I used some of the cut aparts. Now this is only four pages, but each page has three actual pages to it. So it has this side, this side, this one has a pocket with a photo mat. The end is a pocket with a photo mat. The other side has a pocket with a photo mat and then the back page. So that's one page, one hinge. So the second page with the photo mats, another photo mat on the back page and there's the back page of the actual page system. Here's another. More photo mats. I love this dot paper. I just think it's so pretty. Another photo mat. And then the last page system. And the end. And then I used another cut apart on the back page. So, very easy to make. Um, each page takes one sheet of um, eight and a half by eleven, but very fun, very easy. I love how these turned out. So from there, I wasn't done making mini albums. So I found one of the things I like to do, um, aside from create my own pages, is I like to take um, some other ideas and turn them into page ideas. So I found a tutorial for an insert for a junk journal that I um, really liked. So I turned it into a tall, skinny, chunky little mini album. And um, so this one, and I'll link that video uh, blog. I'm, I can't remember if it's a blog or a video. I think it's a blog. I'll link that down below as well. So this one has three pages, um, but each page has you know, a couple of pieces to it. So the front of each page has a pocket and in the long pocket is a bookmark or a long skinny photo mat. If you have one of those Instax cameras, this mini album would be perfect. Inside each page, it has two pockets. So you could actually use this for mementos. You can use it for receipts. Um, if you're a bigger purse carrier, this would fit in a purse. So each page inside in the center has these two pockets and then a, a back page. So here's the second page with the long bookmark or photo mat. And then the inside pockets for the page. And then the third page with the long bookmark or photo mat, the inside page pockets and the back page. So this one was, oh, I, I love doing this. I like making books and I love working with paper. So mini albums are right up my alley. This one is about eight and seven eighths by three and one eighth. And it has a two inch spine. So super fun. Um, I actually used the scraps from the angle cuts here to add decorations to the inside and outside of the covers. And then I also used strips of the paper to decorate the pages. You'll see I do that a lot because it cuts down on the bulk. Um, and of course I used more of those rounds from the paper pad. And there we have another mini album. Uh, my favorite closure or my closure of choice is ribbon. It is the most economical and it's easier for me to get here. Um, I live in northwestern Ontario. There's not a lot of places to shop around here. So anything special like the little knobs that, um, you know, you can put on here to pull your elastic over. I have to order those um, from either the States or from a bigger center. 
So I tend to use what I can get and ribbon I can get. So now that we've through that, I'll show you what I have left. So aside from the full 11 pages, or the 11 full pages, I should say, I have a stack of cut aparts, scraps, half pages, and all of these little round punch outs that I did. So some of them have words on them, hello, harvest, some have just pictures, family, grace, super cute. They'll make great um, embellishments on note cards and stuff, so I will be using them up for sure. This is a little set of note cards that I started, and I have all of these scraps and pieces, <laughs> and this is the Lawn Fawn um, 6x6 pad. I'm going to try and use that up as well, since uh, I've already started, and there's not a whole lot left, so I think I'll be good with that. Um, yeah, so I have half papers, I have lots of the cut apart still because I haven't used a lot of this pad had two pages full of um, six by six cut aparts not sure what I'm going to do with those yet I may cut them apart as well this is a sheet that I started cu fussy cutting the flowers out of I'll use this for um, the mat or a background of a card or something or two of them but yeah so that's what I have left and I will keep creating as much as I can to get through all of this. The other thing I wanted to show you, what I do, what I did, um, was I went through my cardstock and I pulled out all of the colors that would go with this paper pad. So that when I cr start creating something, I can just grab from here and know that my papers are all gonna match. So I have everything together in this project holder, which by the way, I get at Dollarama um, for a dollar fifty, so I have like six of them. Um, and then all my projects are easy to pick up, take with me, uh, pack up, super easy to keep together, and everything is all in the same place. So, thus, these are my projects. This is what I have left. I will be creating more, so in the next week or so. You will see some more projects from me using up the last 11 papers from the pad and as many of these scraps as I can. All right, now um, some hashtags for you. Beth and I, Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts, have been working on this fall paper collaboration. So we would love to see you join us. There, Beth is at Bourbon Creek Crafts. We have a hashtag um, that we created for this collaboration. And if you are going to join us, please use the hashtag so that we can take a look and see what you're creating. So the hashtag is fall paper pads unite. You can also tag Beth at bourbon. This is her hashtag is bourbon Creek crafts. Mine is ode to paper. <coughs> Beth is on YouTube at bourbon Creek crafts. And also on Instagram, I am ode underscore two underscore paper, and Beth is Bourbon Creek Crafts. And I also have a Facebook group called Ode to Paper Friends. There it is. And um, if you would like to come and join me, we do. I do a live video every Monday night, except this week it's Tuesday night um, at eight o'clock, and I create mixed media projects, ETCs, um, paper crafts, cards, whatever if we feel like doing that night. And we just chat and create and have some fun. So if you want to join, it's Ode to Paper Friends. Um, come and join us. And yeah, so I'll see you again soon with some more projects. Have a great day, everyone.